Horror at a Home Depot in Dallas. Two police officers and a civilian shot. A suspect on the run for hours finally taken down after a wild chase. And 10 News anchor Brian Schlonsky has been tracking this story in the Live Center. And Brian has an update now on the officer's condition. Well, Kimberly and Steve, the Dallas police chief says that both of those officers who were shot and that loss prevention officer from the Home Depot are all three out of surgery tonight, but that is the only update given on their conditions. Now, there were dozens of officers here at the hospital visiting their fallen comrades, and they went running to join the chase when the suspect's truck was spotted. Scores of officers swarm a white truck in the middle of a Dallas neighborhood. They're arresting a man suspected of shooting two of their own. Seven hours earlier, following a long chase weaving through North Texas streets. That man, police say, is 29-year-old Armando Juarez. The injured officers called to the Home Depot earlier in the day to help deal with an incident of some kind. When they got there, Juarez pulled a gun, shooting the female officer in the face. The male officer, 27 years old, was shot in the head. Hospital staff desperately working to keep him alive until his mother could arrive at the hospital. After his capture, new details emerging about the suspect. Juarez pleaded guilty to stealing a car last November. Today, he was wanted after skipping a sentencing hearing in February. Now, the shooting especially sensitive to the law enforcement community in Dallas, July. This July will be two years since five Dallas officers were shot and killed during a sniper attack in downtown Dallas. Brian Schlonsky, 10 News.